So they did a, a regression model predicting salary based on all the kinds of traits that I, that I went over on the previous slide. So you're the region that you're in, um, the level of education that you have, company size, how you spend your week, um, and what tools you know. So the really interesting thing is, so learning Spark is people who know Spark get paid $12,000 more per year, uh, you, know, you know, averaging that skill alongside all these other um, traits in this complex model. But Spark increases pay by $12,000. Getting a PhD is only $9,000. So uh, if you're wondering about how to spend your time, uh, learning Spark seems like a good idea. Investing years and potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars into a PhD, uh, if it really interests you, great. Um, if you're just doing it for pay, there's probably the other ways to spend your time. Um, because this is a regression model, as you probably know, highly correlated um, items are not also included. So Spark here represents not just Spark, but it represents the other things that cluster with it in here. So it represents Python and Cassandra and Java and these other tools. Um, uh, but it, this is very interesting, and I highly recommend looking at the uh, looking at the whole paper if you're interested. There's an idea of unicorns in data science, right? And so the the tools uh, that we've gone over are very, uh, you know, there's there's obviously tools that pay better that are more likely to lead to this kind of unicorn status. Um, and in addition to the hard skills, there are also soft skills. So I've kind of listed them here. Um, these come from uh, Accenture from about a year ago. So uh, advanced analytics is one of the things, business acumen, communication and collaboration, creativity, data integration, data visualization, software development, of course, and systems administration. The idea of producing, of having all these skills yourself, although there may be some data scientists out there that actually have all of these, they'd be extremely rare, they would be unicorns. And something that is encouraged in business then is to, instead of trying to find these perfect people or trying to be these perfect people, you can complement each other in a data team. And so this represented graphically here with people who have different strengths, um, you know, together forming the, uh, the perfect group.